I'm going to make some coffee this morning. It's not like it's unusual that I make coffee every morning, but this morning it's going to be a little different. I'm going to make cowboy coffee that's boiled in an old-fashioned pot over an open flame. So come along and enjoy the ride and the coffee. I have a perfectly good coffee maker there. It's a Mr. Coffee. It's one of the more expensive kinds. And uh, they call it a tin cup, but I don't know who they think they're fooling. Because anybody that ever cooked anything knows that a cup is eight ounces and not five. And uh, on the water container it says ten cups, but then they, someplace in the uh, uh, literature they say that's ten five ounce cups but I'm going to make an actual six cups of coffee this morning we're all electric here we don't have gas anywhere except in the clubhouse and they have a gas connection there in the fireplace and the commercial stove in the kitchen and heating the swimming pool other than that everything is electric and uh, here in North Texas, we don't lose electricity due to ice storm or storms very often, but every 20 to 30 years, we have one that takes down lines and it's out of power for a week for a lot of people and longer than that for others. Uh, I bought this little uh, butane single burner here so we could at least cook something. And the other day I got to thinking that, well, coffee was included in that so I ordered this six cup cowboy style coffee pot and it came with the basket there where you can make uh, percolator coffee or boiled coffee and I'm going to make boiled coffee this morning show you how that's done so butane burner here is the handiest thing in the world all you have to do is put the tank in it and then turn it on and it's got a PZO lighter here and that lights it. don't it need a match or anything like that. Well I've already measured out six cups. Well actually all I did do is fill it to the bottom of the spout and got six cups of water in the pot there put it on and I'm going to bring it to a boil. There's always the question of how much coffee do you put in how much water? Well, experimenting a little I found out that this is a quarter cup measure here. A rounded quarter cup of that is the right amount for the strength we like in six cups of coffee. But I'm going to use the cowboy way of measuring big spoon. Now in case you're wondering about it, that heaping spoonful there is exactly one rounded quarter cup here. So staying with the same ratio there. Okay it's up to a rolling boil there. But I want to turn it down. You can hear it boiling. I want to turn it down to where it's just barely bubbling. There we go. Because if you dump the coffee in with a rolling boil, it foams up and right over the top and makes a mess. And the other thing, you don't want to dump this all in at once. You want to shake it in there slowly and then stir it. Very little foam layer. And we'll let it sit there and simmer for a few minutes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn the burner completely off and let it set a few minutes. Okay, it's had 
a little time now to seep and what I want to do now this is cold water just dribble a few drops of cold water on top of the hot and it'll make it settle instantly almost you can almost see yeah you can even see the grounds going down so we'll let that set there and the grounds go to the bottom a little more Okay, pour me a cup of this coffee here and see how it is. Looks nice and clear there. No coffee grounds in it. Put that back on there. You know the only place this cup of coffee could be any better would be if it's brewed by a mountain stream up in the Rockies someplace. That is good coffee. It, I don't know, these automatic coffee makers are great, but there's still nothing like good old boiled cowboy coffee. Now I think I'll take this to the living room and turn on the TV and see the early Sunday morning news, which is probably depressing. And Well, I know that they're railing against Trump for everything in the world. He's done everything except kill the Pope. So, thanks for watching my videos, and God bless America, and God bless Texas.